what's happening. So, come to you, talking about power. You know I got to do this. Uh, last night I was I was binging Ozark Season 2. I recommend it. Check it out. If you ain't watched Season 1 or whatever, watch them both. Good series. So, I didn't watch Power last night, but I just finished watching the episode. Hey, things are spicing up. <laughs> There's a, a lot going down, man. This episode is uh, episode 509. There's a snitch among us. I think that's the name of the episode. So, the snitch, we all know it's been Teresi the whole time. Tommy never wanted to put it in his head, man. No, no, that's my daddy. That's my daddy. Yo, 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 Kane and, and the uh, 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 ghost. You wrong, that's my father. <laughs> So, so he been, he been jocking his daddy. He never had a father his whole life. So he finally in the family and let that mess his brain up. But on another note, the beginning of the, of the show, the first two minutes in the show, all I could think about was how much I hate Tariq. I hate that little boy so bad. What would I would not give for a ghost to stomp a mud hole in his ass? Just take his belt off. Just <laughs> whip him like like Bruce Lee with some nunchucks or something. Just tear his ass up. I can't stand that little dude, man. And he's just all cocky. Uh, I did this. I did this for for everybody to win. And Oh, this and that, and you gonna teach me the life? Yo, dog, that is the dumbest shit in the world. Why this little privileged little boy wants to be a hustler so bad? The writers on the show, the the woman, I I can't even remember her name, but dog, like, do you understand what you are writing? That is just, that is just retarded. This little boy has everything in the world, and, and he aspires to to be a dope dealer. Like, that is just unresponsible writing and stuff. That's, that's just so stupid. But... Anyway, that that makes me that makes me real mad. Like they they perpetuate that stereotype so much that this black privileged boy wants to become. <laughs> let me let me get out my bag because I'm getting emotional. I'm getting very angry. But anyway, to read, so he he takes it upon himself. He makes a fake ID. He goes uh gets cannon ashes. Like that's why he got the fake ID. And he gonna be trying to. He went to meet the uh, the Italians and stuff. So that's gonna be his new plug, I guess. So Angela, Angela goes meet meet with Dre. She gets Dre to flip because because the the Jimenez woman she put Costaval. I think that's his name, Costaval, whatever. Cristobal, Cristobal, whatever. She put him. As the number one distro. So she dropped Dre down. So Dre is so vindictive. She put him down. So he snitched on him. To Angela. So Angela got the biggest bust of her career. And at the end of the episode. You will see it doesn't matter. But, but everybody is just working on. This stuff man. Everybody is just. Being vindictive and on some bullshit. So. Uh, the the DA and them the agents they get Proctor to wear a wire for Ghost. Proctor does come in in the clutch though, because yeah he wears the wire, but he writes on the paper the Ghost I'm wearing a wire. Don't don't uh, indict yourself or whatever. Don't convict yourself. So he did get strangled up, but he he came through. Uh. Ghosty, he's still trying to make moves with Senator Tate, Governor Tate. Like, 
he he doesn't play a big role in this in this episode. The only thing I want to say is just that's one of my favorite actors of all time, the Ren C. But boy, I hate that motherfucker on, on power. Oh, I hate him. Uh, other things worth mentioning. Uh, so la 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 la. la. Man, is yeah, I'm I'm kind of low. Oh, man, uh, yeah, Tommy Daddy, Tommy Daddy, man. So he finally figures out he he finally figures out that uh his daddy has been the snitch the whole time. His daddy tried to cover it up. He killed his friend because his friend was about to tell, like his friend wanted him to throw Tommy under the bus, but he did. That's the one honorable thing he kind of did. Like he didn't want to throw Tommy under the bus, but he was gonna throw ghosts under the bus. So, he, his friend was like, no, we got to throw Tommy under the bus, man. Tommy got to go. So, he kills his friend in front of, front of uh, Tommy. So, Tommy thinks, all right, the snitch is gone. But, turns out, no, 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 no. He's the snitch. Tommy figures it out. He has to make a tough decision at the end, man. He has to kill him. But the bad thing about it is, we so happy that Teresi is gone. We know he been a snake the whole season. He was gonna take Ghost and them down because he knew he knew Ghost killed Charlie Murphy. But the thing about that is Angela told Ghost. They told Angela because they wanted to see what happened, and it worked out just like they planned it. They told her, she told Ghost. He winds up dead. So the end of the episode, you like man, she got the biggest bust of her career. Everything is rosy. Man, we about to have all oh, A is about to be be lit. We 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 living in a big rich town. Da, 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 da. Nope. Cause at the end of the episode, time time he goes back to his mother. So he he, he goes back to his roots. He, he he hurting. But Angela is trying to celebrate. She goes in the office and stuff. She sees they have the board with her and Ghost on there. She about to take the fall. And the only way to stop from taking the fall, she's going to have to rat on Ghost. Everything that she has been knowing, been helping with, whatever, she is going to have to bring Ghost down. And Ghost is going to have to do the same. Like, what Proctor told him is, look, you're going to have to choose yourself. So, the big battle from now on is going to be Angela versus Ghost. It has come to this. Man, I, I hate to see that, man. I, I'm one of the few that I know Ghost goes in love with her, man. Like, you can't be... A lot of females and stuff, they mad. Whoa, why Ghost uh, with Angela? So, that has made everybody hate Ghost. But you can't be mad at the brother who you love. Hey, he, he love Angela. But, it's, mm -mm, it's, it's not looking looking good. Not looking good at all. I'm trying to think. I'm thinking that I missed something. But... Oh well. Oh, they had two of the the most uncomfortable sex scenes. Well, Tommy and Lala, they, they had like a little discussion. They didn't have a sex scene, but like just a little kiss. That was just so uncomfortable. Like, yeah. And then the uh, coast of all, coast of all, crystal ball, whatever, in the uh, in the 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 cartel boss, the, the woman, like they had like a uncomfortable sex scene. Like they was kissing like. It looked like some dumb and dumber shit. Like, that was the worst sex scene I've ever seen. Like, I, I know they, they have a quota or whatever. We have to have some kind of sex scene in the show. Cut that shit out. Everybody don't need to be having no sex, man. Look, that shit is... That shit for the birds, man. We, we didn't see... Uh, I, I, <laughs> we don't need to have see Silver have no sex scenes. We don't need to see Crystal Ball in them. We don't need to see Tommy and them have no sex scenes. Next, next season they gonna have Tariq gonna be gonna be messing with somebody or something. We don't want to see that bullshit. Kill Tariq. Kill Tariq. God damn it. Yeah. But <laughs> man, that's 
that's my thoughts on the episode, man. It was a lit episode, but towards the ending was a, a flip. You didn't think it was going to go there. It was finally, they on top. Oh, no. They went to the top just to jump off the building. So it's not looking good. But like, comment, subscribe. Go be the greatest or the most hated. Next episode, man, the season finale. Whoo. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be interesting. I let your boy. Peace out.